specific and measurable goals for the professional development. So they can know how far the uh, the progress about their teaching. And then adaptability. Um, adaptability means that reflective teachers have willing to experiment with new teaching strategies and methods. And the last one is communication, which means the teacher reflection will keep journals, uh, portfolio, or documentation to record their thoughts, observations, and experiences. Then, uh, these are for some questions, open questions. Miss and Mr. Uh, usually we conduct reflection before we starting our semester, right? So, um, but what I want to ask you, Mr. Shakir, uh, what kind of question that usually you use for reflection in your class, Mr. Usually, yes, uh, what is the role important during uh, the semester, uh, semester and uh, first semester and next semester? Okay, thank you so much, Mr. Sandy. So, uh, I put some questions in uh, this discussion. The first one is, if I have clear goal for the lesson, what was the specific target? And the second one is, was the goal important? How do I know? And the third one is, was my learning activity consistent with the goal? And the fourth is, was it, what example or representation would have made the lesson clearer for the student? Next is, how do I know whether students understand what I hope, what would be a better way of finding out? And, or you may use overall, what will I do differently to improve the lesson for the next time I teach it? Uh, actually, this, uh, this, uh, those questions is not stick or you may put another question that um, Compatible, I mean, match with your condition, your own condition in your class, so it can uh, conduce it. Okay. Next, uh, so what is correlation between reflective teaching and effectiveness instructions? Oh, sorry. Next, what is reflective teaching? Uh, reflective teaching is a process which in which educators engage in deliberate and thoughtful consideration of their practices, experiences, and decisions with the goal of improving their effectiveness in the classroom. So, this reflective teaching is not only one time event, but continuous and cyclical processes. Um, it involves considering successes and challenges, identifying areas of improvement, and implementing changes to enhance teaching and learning experience. When uh, correlation between reflective teaching and effectiveness instruction. The first one is improved self-awareness. Self and the second one is identification, the strength and weakness. After we more aware with ourselves, we will know about which one our weakness and which one our strengths, so we can improve our strength and decrease our uh, weakness. So our teaching strategy with the student will uh, more improve. Then enhance classroom management and then adaptability and flexibility. So we are as teachers. Um, we should, uh, as we know that knowledge and technology is developed day by day. So we should adapt and flexible with the resolution. And then student engagement. Of course if we uh, do or through reflective teaching, we know which one of methods or strategy that uh, that um, match with the student, and then continuous improvement. As teachers, we should uh, continue our improvement, and then so the conclusion of this discussion is a uh, reflection. Contributes more to motivate, to motivation, to motivate the and share interest in the subject area. The second one is reflective needs to collect information about students' performance in the classroom and use it to think about what and why they do it and how their teaching methods affect students' performance. Okay, I will. I, I would like to deliver this. 
the worst. Green teacher tries to be the best for all the students, and one step to achieve it is through reflection regularly. Thank you so much. That's all for me. Wassalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.
it's like just like when I have a lot about the teaching, perhaps uh, not uh, uh, if my teaching is not effective in learning, and then they criticize criticize us, and then they think, oh, this teacher will capable as a teacher like this. Okay. Um, actually, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. There is con there is this condition that we know in this case that first before we do the reflection or ask them to assess ourselves, of course we should uh, keep the awareness that they should use in proper uh, proper way. Yeah. So um, we do need, there are some questions that we keep to them and we will give um, some suggestion and. Um, based on our uh, experiment report, they will clearly put their opinion about, our, about ourselves, about our class, I mean. So we can know which one, or what kind of methods or strategy in the class that they more engage, or they like, or they can follow our material. Like writing.
un articolo di micro teaching Yes, I'm 
bisa pakai Dinner Oke Thank you Maybe from Zoom meeting and uh, participant here One more question Andrew, what time is? Andrew Thank <laughs> you. 
Uh, continuous improvement. Uh, okay, thank you from 